Hey everyone, today we're making meat halim. So halim is like a really fancy dish you have at like parties or dinners or when you have people over. And it's basically like a meat stew with lentils and wheat. Um, so I've got garlic and ginger and I'm just cutting up some extra ginger for garnish for later. And then I've got my whole spices, cinnamon, cumin, black peppercorn, cloves, stone flour, black cardamom, red chili, bay leaf, and then my powdered spices, some garam masala, turmeric, red chili, gorma masala, ground coriander, and cumin mix, and then some garlic powder. This works really nicely. If you don't have the time or inclination to get all of those spices together, then you can just use the shan gorma masala. That'll work beautifully. So I'm just going to rinse and wash my wheat, and then I'm going to cut up my meat, and then we're going to julienne our onions finally with uh, mandolin and then I have everything all set and ready and then we're gonna fry up our garlic and ginger first add in our meat once that's browned a little bit we're gonna add in all of our spices burn off all the water that comes out of the meat and then we're gonna add in our lentils and then our dal together and then some water and then that's gonna cook in the pressure cooker so while that's cooking we're gonna fry up our onions and uh, you want to be careful with your onions watch them so that they don't burn and I just almost was at the verge of burning them but they were kind of okay <laughs> I like my onions crispy so it kind of worked out so then we're gonna put the tarka in the halim so what that means is just pouring the hot oil into our halim and it like permeates and perfuses all of the halim with the fried onion smell so it's really delicious and then we're, we're gonna garnish it with some fresh cilantro our fried onions, our fried onion oil, some julienne ginger, some lemon, and also some cut up um, green peppers. So this dish is definitely one of those really heavy crowd pleasers. It's delicious and creamy, spicy, and it's, it's kind of like a soothing dish, a really good comfort food, but it's also like a fancy comfort food. So I, I definitely hope you try it and love it.